Hi, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold. And here we are today, and we are beginning so many new things. We've got a Mars retrograde, a Mercury retrograde, a solar, no, not solar, it's a lunar eclipse, a full moon, so much going on, astrologically speaking, never mind as far as what's going on in our world today, a lot. So welcome, glad to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so we're going to talk about anxiety and how we can kind of chill out, calm those crazy thoughts in mind. So, you know, there was a time uh, that I had tremendous anxiety. My mind was chattering constantly. I had self-doubt, depression, all kinds of things, pain in my body. I was sick all the time. So what did I do to overcome anxiety? Well, I began to meditate. And in this little video, what we're going to do is I'm gonna give you several different ways to overcome these issues that you can do without spending any money. Um, I have a YouTube video. If you do not know how to meditate, it's okay. I thought I couldn't, and most of the clients that I work with when they first start working with me tell me, I can't meditate, I've never been able to, but with the process that I use and teach to my clients, they are able to meditate. So what is anxiety? Let's just look at that first. What is anxiety? Well, anxiety is stress. It's stress from too much mind chatter, too much going on, not enough decisions and moving forward, too much worry. And, you know, I have all kinds of blogs about worry and what percentage of issues that we worry about actually take place because it's, it's really small, very small. So the first thing I'm going to say about anxiety is we need to give the mind something to do to quiet this. Most of the thoughts we think we're not even aware of and often we are just sipping from the universal consciousness, the 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 crazy stuff going on in the news the media facebook all the social networks out there so just take a deep breath with me we're going to do this together and this is going to help you with a lot of different things healing issues within the body so we're going to hold our hands in front of our heart chakra and so i've got my hands together and placing them in front of my heart chakra, I'll just move up a little bit here, touching the heart chakra, which is in the center of the chest. And now what you wanna do, take another deep breath, breathe in, drop your shoulders, and we're dropping out, out of this stress because stress is what often causes anxiety. Drop your chin a little lower and when you t drop your chin, if you've ever been to church and prayed, have you noticed you bow your head? Have you ever wondered why you bow your head in church? It's not just out of reverence, although that is very important, but it also quiets the mind. So bow your head, just turn your chin down a little bit, lower your shoulders away from your ears, and just keep breathing and I'm going to walk you through this process. Everyone has the power to heal themselves and we need to connect our mind with our heart to do so. And tapping into the heart, it is a powerful electromagnetic field and the heart actually has cells in it that are intelligent. So your heart has an intelligence. So again, we're gonna breathe into the heart, bowing the head, keep breathing. And I'm just gonna walk you through a little meditation. Thank you for healing this mind chatter. Thank you for healing my mind. Thank you for healing my stress. 
thank you for healing any agitation. Thank you for helping me heal my feet, my legs, my ankles, my knees. Thank you for the healing in my thighs, my hips, my buttocks, my stomach. Thank you for balancing and healing my digestive tract. Thank you for healing my organs, my liver, my pancreas. Thank you for healing my mind. Thank you for healing my heart. Thank you for healing my lungs. Thank you for the healing of my eyes. Thank you for healing the pain. Thank you for healing my spleen. Thank you for healing my arteries, my veins. Thank you for healing my arms, my feet, my head. Thank you for helping me release the worry and the fear. Breathe. Keeping your hands in front of your heart, touching your heart chakra, breathe. Each of you has the power to heal your own body. We are all meant to be self-healing. I'm just here reminding you. So, anxiety is something that can be reduced with meditation. And you can do the Divine Presence Process meditation or you can just sit simply in a chair or up against your pillows on the bed, close your eyes, go within. You wanna take the little escalator from your brain down to your heart. You wanna meditate from the heart as opposed to the mind. For those of you especially that have lots of anxiety. Meditation can help you with depression, anxiety. It can help you to tap into your intuition, but it certainly will release anxiety. Now, another thing that you can do, because I'm giving you a couple of different tips, is deep breathing. Just notice, are you breathing? Are you breathing on a regular basis? Are you breathing deeply or are you holding your breath most of the time? Everybody take a deep breath. Hi, Chris. Thanks for being here. And thank you, Nita. <laughs> you look great today too, in that fabulous new dress. Okay, so we wanna talk about the vagus nerve. Um, the vagus nerve is something that's located here. It comes from the left side of the brain. Of course, you know, you're, you're your left side might be the other side of your body. It is the left side and it goes all the way down through all of the organs, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the stomach, the spleen. And so breathing deeply will reduce anxiety. It will eliminate depression and it can heal all of the organs. So this little thing that we did here tapping into the heart and asking for healing to take place, but you're saying thank you as if the healing has already been done. Because if we ask for healing, that's the absence of it. So we are saying thank you for the healing that has already taken place. So that's what we were doing with this thank you for healing my mind, thank you for healing my eyes, Thank you for healing my feet, my lungs, my throat. Thank you for allowing me to speak up, speak my truth. Thank you for the radiance, that love inside me that radiates outside. Thank you. Okay, everybody. So asking through thanks. Thank you for the healing is powerful. Doing this deep breathing 
with the stimulating of the vagus nerve. There's a, two other ways you can stimulate the vagus nerve. Take a cold shower every day. Stand under a cold shower. It will stimulate the vagus nerve and you can also sleep on your right side. So deep breathing stimulates the vagus nerve. Taking a cold shower will stimulate the vagus nerve and sleeping on your right side. Why do we want to do this? Because the vagus nerve feeds all of the organs. It is the biggest nerve in the body. And what does it require to activate? Oxygen. So breathe deeply. Now, for those of you that would like a few more tips on how to overcome anxiety and depression, walk in nature on a daily basis and dance. I dance while I'm walking. I turn up the tunes in my, I listen with my headset on and I dance while I'm walking. Listening to uplifting music is a great way to alter mood. So we've got meditation, dance, stimulating the vagus nerve, taking cold showers, sleeping on your right side. I think that you've got plenty of ways to overcome anxiety, depression, and any kind of unrest in the body. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Much love and don't worry about this Mercury retrograde. It will be over in three more weeks. I love you. Thank you so much for watching.